In this video, we shall see how to solve the system of linear equation by using Gauss elimination method. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video link with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world. Solve the system of equation x plus y plus z is equal to 9, 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0, 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to 52 by using Gauss elimination method. Solution Consider x plus y plus z is equal to 9, 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0, 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to 52. So this is the system of equation which has been given. Consider this as 1. The system of equation 1 can be written in the form of an augmented matrix. The augmented matrix is given by A colon of B equivalent to. So here we will be writing the coefficient matrix of the system of equation and that will be A and B is nothing but the constant matrix of the equation which has been given. So here augmented matrix will be 1, 1, 1, colon, 9, 2, 1, minus 1, colon, 0, 2, 5, 7, colon, 52. So 1, 1, 1 or nothing but the coefficient of an equation 1 and 9 is the constant and 2 1 minus 1 or the coefficient of an equation 2 and 0 is the constant 2 5 7 or the coefficient of equation 3 and 52 is the constant now we need to find the solution of the given system of equation by using Gauss elimination method so consider this augmented matrix will be equivalent to now we apply the first step the first step of the Gauss elimination method says that we need to use the first element of the first row and make the first element of the second row and the first element of the third row as 0. So for that purpose the first row will be unaltered so write it as it is 1 1 colon 9. So now the first element of the second row is 2 and we need to make this one as 0 by using the first element of the first row. The first element of the first row is 1 and the first element of the second row is 2. So 2 has to be made 0. How we can make this one? By using row elimination method. That means we can write R2 equal to R2 minus 2 R1. So now 2 that is the first element of the second row 2 minus 2 into R1 that is the first element of row 1 that is 1. 2 in 2 minus 2 into 1. So minus 2 into 1 will be minus 2. 2 minus 2 will be 0. The next second element of R2 is 1 and second element of R1 is 1. So R2 minus 2 R1. 1 minus 2 into 1. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. 1 minus 2 will be minus 1. The next third element of R2 is minus 1 whereas of R1 is 1. So R2 minus 2 R1. So R2 is minus 1 minus 2 into 1. So minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. Minus 1 minus 2 will be minus 3. Colon. Next constant is 0 minus 2 into R1. So row 1 a constant is 9. Minus 2 into 9 is minus 18. So 0 minus 18 will be minus 18. Then next we need to make the first element of the third row that is a 2 as 0 by using the first element of row R1. So third row's a first element is 2 and uh, first element of the first row is 1. So to make 2 as 0 what we have to do 2 minus 2. So 2 minus 2, how we can make it? By using an row elimination method. That is by applying the procedure. By applying the procedure 
as writing R3 minus R2 R1. R3 equal to R3 minus 2 R1. You can observe here while writing equal to, we are writing an arrow mark. That means the row has been changed by applying R3 minus 2 R1. So R3 first element is 2 minus 2 into first element of R1 is 1. 2 minus 2 into 1. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. 2 minus 2 will be 0. So we have made the first element of row 1 as 0. Next. Uh, second element of R3 is 5 minus 2 into second element of R1 that is 1. 5 minus 2 into 1. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. The next third element 7 minus 2 into 1. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Colon 52 minus 2 into 9. So 2 into 9 is 18. 52 minus 18 will be equal to 34. So it is the first step of Gauss elimination method. That is using the element A11 not equal to 0 and making a element A21 and A31 to become 0 by using row elimination. After applying the first step we got this augmented matrix. Now consider that augmented matrix and now apply the second step. So while applying the second step it says that we need to use a dash 2 2 and make a dash 3 2 to become 0 by using row elimination method. So here a dash 2 2 is minus 1 and a dash 3 2 is 3. That means we need to make 3 as 0. How we can make 3 as 0? By writing 3 minus 3. So we have to subtract this one by 3. So that means the second element of R2 is minus 1. So if we multiply that one with 3, it will be minus 3. So R3 plus 3 into R2 will become what? 3 will become 0. That means we can write first writing the first two rows as it is as 1 1 1 colon 9 0 minus 1 minus 3 colon minus 18. Now apply the row elimination method row elimination method by writing R3 equal to R3 plus 3 R2. So R3 first element is 0 plus 3 into R2 first element is 0. So 3 into 0 will be 0. 0 plus 0 will be 0. The next second element of R3 is 3 plus 3 into second element of R2 is minus 1. So 3 into minus 1 will be minus 3. 3 plus 3 will be equal to 0. So we have made A dash 3 2 as 0 by using A dash 2 2. The next one uh, third element of R3 is 5 and third element of R2 is minus 3. So 5 plus 3 into minus 3. 3 into minus 3 is minus 9. 5 minus 9 will be equal to minus 4. Colon. The next element 34 and that of uh, R2 is minus 18. So 34, 34 plus 3 into minus 18. 34 plus 3 into minus 18. So that will be equal to minus 20. 34 plus 3 into minus 18 will be equal to minus 20. So this is we have applied a second step of an row elimination uh, cause elimination method. And you can observe now you have got an upper triangular. You have got an upper triangular matrix. So from this upper triangular matrix, step 3 of an Gauss elimination method says that it can be written in the form of an equation. So from the above matrix, we get 1, 1, 1, colon 9. That means 
1 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z equal to 9. So that can be done as x plus y plus z is equal to 9. The next one 0 minus 1 minus 3 colon minus 18. That means what x coefficient is 0. So 0 into x will be 0. So no need of writing x term. The next one is minus 1 into y will be minus y. Minus 3 into z will be minus 3 equal to minus 18. So we can write minus y minus 3z equal to minus 18. The next by considering third row the x term and y term will be 0 because those coefficients are 0 and z term is minus 4 that means minus 4 z equal to minus 20 minus 4 z equal to minus 20 so this is applying step third of gauss elimination method now we need to apply the fourth step in the fourth step we need to consider the last equation which you have got in the third step of a gauss elimination method so consider the last equation is minus 4z is equal to minus 20 so we can write this one as z is equal to minus 20 divided by minus 4 minus and minus cancel 4 1s are 4 5s are is 20 therefore z will be equal to 5 this is what step 4 now we need to apply step 5 in a step 5 what we have to do by using back substitution method we get the value of y and x that means you need to consider the second equation consider the second equation which we have got is minus y minus 3z is equal to minus 18 so now we need to find the value of y we have the value of z so take the z term at the right hand side which is present on the left side left hand side take it to the right hand side so minus 3z will become plus 3z so therefore we can write minus y is equal to minus 18 plus 3z so now we can write minus y is equal to minus 18 plus 3 into z is 5 that is 3 into 5 so minus y equal to minus 18 plus 3 into 5 3 into 5 is 15 minus 18 minus uh, that is 3 into 5 is plus 15 minus 18 plus 15 will be minus 3 so minus y will be equal to minus 3 therefore we can write y is equal to 3 because minus and minus cancel therefore y will be equal to 3 consider the first equation that is x plus y plus z is equal to 9 we have calculated the value of y and z now we need to find the value of x therefore taking y and z on the right hand side we can write it as x equal to 9 minus y minus z so substituting the value of y and z we can write x equal to 9 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 will be minus 8 9 minus 8 will be equal to 1 therefore x equal to 1 so therefore now we have got a solution that is x equal to 1 y equal to 3 and z is equal to 5 or the exact solution of a given linear equation 1 so this is the way of solving a system of given equation by using Gauss elimination method. We can verify the answer which we have got by doing the verification. That verification can be done in by taking the equations which have been given in the question and the values which we have got. So take the first equation x plus y plus z is equal to 9. So now consider LHS. LHS is x plus y plus z. So substitute the value which we have got for x 1, for y 3 and for z 5. Therefore it will be equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5. So 1 plus 3 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. Therefore equal to 9. So we have got LHS is equal to RHS. That means whatever the values we have calculated is correct according to the first equation now similarly consider the second equation second equation is 2x plus y minus z equal to 0 
Now consider the LHS of the second equation 2x plus y minus z. So substitute the values of x, y and z. So we can write equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 minus 5. 2 into 1 plus 3 minus 5. 2 into 1 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 minus 5 equal to 0. That means we have got RHS. That is LHS is equal to RHS. Now the value which we have got is correct for second equation also. Now let us examine the third equation. Third equation is 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to 52. Now consider the LHS of this third equation 2x plus 5y plus 7z. So x is 1, y is 3 and z is 5. So we can write equal to 2 into 1 plus 5 into 3 plus z into 5. 2 into 1 plus 5 into 3 plus 7 into 5. 2 into 1 is 2. 5 into 3 is 15. 7 into 5 is 35. So it will be equal to 52. 2 1s are 2. 5 3s are 15. 2 plus 15 is 17. 17 plus 7 5s are 35. 17 plus 35 is equal to 52. So it is RHS. So LHS is equal to RHS. That means whatever the value we have calculated by using Gauss elimination method is matching for all the three equations. Therefore, the answer what we have got are the exact values for the given equations. That means uh, x equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 5 or the exact solution of a given system of linear equation by using Gauss elimination method. So this verification you can do for the purpose of cross verifying with the answers which you have got. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video link with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world.